Asylum seekers retrieving their belongings after Tunisian police dismantled a makeshift camp they had set up outside the United Nations Refugee Agency's headquarters in Tunis. They say they had taken refuge there after President Qais Saeed in February slammed illegal immigration. But there had been altercations with local residents. This is a big problem because when they gather like this, they feel stronger, they feel safe and don't fear the police. They don't care about people, they don't care about anything. If you pass by here, they can hit you and tell you to leave. The protesting refugees had been on edge since the UN said last week it had stopped all registration and pre-registration activities worldwide until the 17th of April due to the migration of its registration and identity system. I've got my status and now I'm waiting. I did the resettlement interview, but there are others who've been here for two or three years and they've not been called. This is due to the application procedures. They can't take all the applications, so it's up to us to now understand that they can't all be processed at the same time. An AFP reporter at the scene said that after the migrants were dispersed, they saw that surveillance cameras and windows at the UN building had been smashed. The Tunisian Interior Ministry says that police intervened at the request of the UNHCR and that 80 migrants had been arrested.